In this video, we are going to show you how to create your section drawings in the Steel Auto Drafter within STAD Pro Connect Edition. To manually create a section cut through your building, what you're going to do is identify a member within the plane you want to create. We're going to right click and then we're going to tell the plan or tell the program if we want to draw a section along the X axis or along the Z axis. For this model, I'll go ahead and say draw a section at Z equals zero. I'm going to select the scale of my drawing and then I'm going to tell the program I want to draw as a full section. Now again, I can create a drawing so I can save it and view it as a DXF or I can add it to the drawing list. Here, let's go ahead and just click on the draw section to see what we would get if we were to cut a section along the building. Here, I'm going to be able to see my drawing and this is the elevation on grid line one. Here are all my grid coordinates. So I can see my elevation. I can see all of the section names directly in my drawing. I have a schedule of steel sections, a material takeoff report, and also a legend available. Now let's go ahead and return to the layout area. And I do have an option to generate the section cuts along the building that coordinate with my grid line locations that are already set up through my grid manager. So here in my drawing list area, again, if you don't see your drawing list, you can tell the program you want to view your drawing list in groups. And instead of plans, I'm going to go ahead and say, I want to create sections uh, along my X axis. I'm going to select my scale. I'm going to tell the program I want to draw it along all grids and I'm going to create some full sections. I'm going to add these to my drawing list. So here I have a an elevation of my structure or a section along each of my grid lines in that direction. So I can also generate sections along my Z axis as well. Again, I'm going to keep the same scale. I'm going to say select all grids and draw as full sections. I'm going to add these to my drawing list. And then if I'm satisfied with this list, I can go ahead and click on the draw icon. And it's going to create those plans where again, I can save these. I can view them. I can save them as a DXF. And since I've officially added them to the drawing list, they will be available if I were to exit the Steel Auto Drafter and then come in in a different session. So here I can see I have a grid elevations along each of my X grids and my Z grids. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.